this season, Jordan Brand celebrates this model by delivering detailed craftsmanship, honoring MJ's first Triple Crown run. Detailed craftsmanship? What's up YouTube? Welcome back to PC Garage. Before we get into today's video, hey look, it's almost uh, the end of the year and your boy's about to hit 4,000 subscribers. I couldn't imagine that. This time last year, I was probably about 500. So then we came up a little bit. I didn't really have a goal set for the end of the year, but 4K, I take it, I take it. I mean, if you were a day one or if you just subscribed today, thank you. And if you're just stopping through just because you want to see what Jordan Brand did to screw up this time, that's all right. But maybe hit that subscribe button, catch another video or two. Hey, I don't care. You don't have to. It's whatever your prerogative. I don't care. Here we go. I hate making videos like this, but unfortunately, I feel as though I have to. I have to do it for the people. You guys know that Jordan Brand's not perfect. No one's perfect, especially when you're making two million pairs of shoes. Two million pairs. Of course, they screwed up. And they screwed up a bunch. Some people are like really, you know, particular about their shoes and some people never even notice the small defects. I sold three pairs to StockX early through the early releases. So like last week, two weeks ago, they hit me with the, hey, it did not pass our authentication process and we're sending that bad boy back. Now, because I send a lot of shoes to them and I never had a shoe fail, uh, they of course did not hit me with that 15% fee. And yeah, they just sent the shoes back, but they did cost me my sale because now the shoes aren't really worth anything. Last week they were worth something. Now they're not worth anything. Okay, so I got the shoes back here. Wanted to take a look at them and see exactly what it is that caused these shoes to fail. I'm outside because it's actually the best lighting to use to try to film uh, bread with patent leather. I tried it inside and we're outside now, it's cold. Here's a shoe. These are not the two original shoes. I did swap out one of these shoes already because I'll explain to you in a minute. But the reason why they sent the shoe back was actually for this shoe right here. And if you look here, let's see if we can get it. Here, pop, get, yeah. Yeah, can I get it? Come on, focus, man, focus. There we go. You see that? And the light is a little bit of, a little bit of creasing going on right there. Maybe I can put the shoe down. Just a little bit of creasing right here. That's the that's the reason they sent the shoe back. But yeah, I couldn't even see that in the photo, but I can see it now. It has creases on it. So I said, does that happen to all of the Jordan 11s, the newly produced ones? Well, no, it does not. But I decided to take a look at the uh, some GS sizes that I had. And I had two other GS sizes. And I went through the boxes and one of the pairs was perfect looked good so that one's already going off the stock x the other pair actually had creasing worse than that one we're two for three in having defects on our shoes so fortunately the creasing was on the opposite shoe as the one that was returned for me from stock x i just went ahead and put the bad shoe with that other bad shoe and let them be like a bad shoe couple then i put the good shoe in the other box you got what i'm saying here this is the other pair that almost went to stock x you can see the crease in there. Yeah, the crease on that one is a lot worse than the one that was returned to me. So StockX, they're gonna have an awakening probably in about two or three days when all these shoes start coming in from all the people that copped this weekend and copped online. And then they're gonna be like, yeah, we gotta uh, lower our expectations a little bit on these breads because yeah, they have a lot of factory flaws and defects. In about two, three weeks, I could probably send that shoe back through there and it'll pass because they, they're probably going to see a ton of shoes that are a lot worse than those. But unfortunately, my shoes that went in and got and failed, they were early. So they probably haven't seen a lot of GS sizes at that point. So that's that for grade school. What about men's sizes? Well, I had to pick and choose my personal pair. I only had two pair to choose from. so. And I don't want these ones, and I'm gonna show you why. Here is size 10, no major creasing, but I did notice two major flaws. His arm is like barely attached to the ball right here. Oh, it's, it's, it's crazy. I've seen other shoes, uh, my boy David Van Fly, his Jordan had a tail. And let's look at the other one. And almost the same thing, his arm is like, really weird. I don't know what's going on with that thing. There we go. Like, what's, what's, what's the deal with that weird ass arm? 
stitching is crazy. He's got like baggy jeans on. <laughs> so the quality on these is not that good. Um, but here's the, one of the things I thought was really interesting about this shoe. I noticed that the toe boxes are not the same. Like one shoe has a shorter toe box than the other. Make sure it's even out. I ain't trying to no finessing. There we go. So you can see that? The toe box on here is longer than that one. Yeah, I actually measured it with not like a ruler, but something I had in hand, and it was it's like a quarter of an inch deeper. I mean, that's that's a big variance. So I mean, they're gonna have defects, but yeah, these are not gonna be perfect by any means. And then note to StockX: if there's any StockX employees or uh, authenticators watching, yeah, you might want to loosen up your uh, your expectations, loosen up those reins, because yeah, you're gonna get a bunch of stuff in, just like the Travis Scotts. Um, Quality is going to be all over the place. Here's a card. Let's read the card. The Air Jordan is one of the most iconic silhouettes in the history of sneakers. This season, Jordan Brand celebrates this model by delivering detailed craftsmanship, honoring MJ's first Triple Crown run. Detailed craftsmanship? All right, so now I got this size seven with creases in both shoes. I think it's a good opportunity to try my thing where I take shoes back to see if I can then hit on the sneakers app. Uh, what's coming out this week? We have, uh, I think on Thursday or Friday, those animal print Jordan 3s. I'd like to get those. So how about we just take these back to the Nike store? Store right now. Have a happy holiday. Have a good day. I'm gonna see what they have at the outlets. I'm pretty sure it's nothing, but that's the end of this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out of this joint. Later, guys. I, 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 I,